Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play Ham Paro Rainbow Rescue. Today, we are going to go explore a new area. Um, here's the thing though, this area is so huge, I am definitely going to have to do two videos for it, because, well, let's just say this is the only area in the game where, for this uh, post-game exploration, I'm actually going to need two different sets of groups in order to fully explore it. So, let's go ahead and take a quick way in, so I can show you where we uh, need to go. Um, basically, if we head all the way over here to the uh, far right, where I may have shown you a second ago, that there is, um, give it a second, a rainbow. We're going to cross the rainbow. And welcome to, if everyone will uh, hurry up, welcome to the Acorn Trail. So yeah, this path is uh, basically a stretch between multiple areas. Today we are going to cover the bottom half of this location though, so let's go down here and... Huh, what's wrong with this guy? Hey buddy, what's wrong? Oh no, he got separated from his friends. They are the Hambini. So there are three of them, and yes, we can actually invite them. And if we rock, walk over here, there is this guy. This is Fafa Ray Ray. No, this is the one member of the uh, the the Jungarian Choir. I can't remember if they made a specific uh, appearance in a. Heartbreak or not, maybe they did. I can't help but think this guy looks familiar from that, from a Heartbreak, but, you know, maybe they were playing it like the uh, wedding or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's three of the Hambini, five of the Dijon Chorus. One there, one there, and the other uh, six are spread out elsewhere. We're going to have to track them down. So let's go down here first and uh, talk to this guy. What's going on? Uh-oh. This guy's got the hiccups. Um, oh. Yeah, well, I kind of spoiled it, but I think it was kind of obvious, you know? So, let's help him out. Big Thunder Stomp. Alright. Oh, yeah, great. We that helped the guy with his hiccups, so there you go. What's funny is that you can talk to him and his hiccups will have come back. But if we talk to uh, this guy, it turns out this is... Uh, I think this is one of the uh, Dijon Chorus, or one of the Hambinis. I don't know, they look the exact same. It's not like the all the Hambini are brown, it's just some of them. Also, if you have this barrel, if you have Boss with you when you inspect this barrel, um, yeah, he'll break open the barrel. Well, I guess there was nothing here after all. Anything up the tree? No, nothing on the tree. Alright, let's leave then, and uh, huh. Who is that guy? Maybe we should talk to him. Hey buddy, what's wrong? Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is kind of the funny part. This is a mini game you have to have boss with to trigger. And... Yeah, we'll make you a new barrel. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, um... Thing is, boss... Yeah, he needs someone to help him. So, this is why we have Panda with us. So, for this minigame, you need both Boss and, uh, wait. Panda, yeah. So, this is one of those minigames where you repeatedly tap the button that appears. It's just like a Boss's rock carving game. Only this one is, I wouldn't say harder. It just takes a little longer. I wouldn't say it takes longer. I don't know, it's still easy. Just pay attention to what the button is you have to press. And it's not that bad. And there you go. The barrel's fixed. Simple enough to do. And we get a nice sticker. And, and yes, in case you're wondering, there is a unique set of stickers and everything you can earn in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Never treated so kindly, and, uh, well, yeah, the truth is, uh, we broke the barrel. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> He's forgiving. 
And you don't really get anything else out of that. You can just, like... You can just do the game, so there you go. Alright, so yeah, that was a Dijon chorus member. There you go. And we go down here, there's this bird we can kind of chase around. And if you chase it around enough, <laughs> it's gonna just jump back and forth, making noise. <laughs> this is fun! Fast forward! Okay, enough goofing around. Let's actually, uh, <laughs> continue. And look, it's another chorus member. Now, if you see that, uh, thing in the water... Um... Yeah, that's a... That's not a cherry tomato, is it? Um... Or we have a cherry tomato right here. So, yeah. This Asian chorus member, you need to have, uh, at least talked to, uh, Tommy T and got the cherry tomato before you can recruit this guy. Now, funny thing, it turns out that was the, uh, grandchild of the frog from, a uh, Ticky Ticky Park or something. I don't know. But we have another rainbow here. Let's see where it goes. This particular rainbow goes to, um... Oh, where does it go? Tip Top Fair. So there you go. So this is a quick shortcut back over if you need it. Uh, but I don't need it right now. So let's head back over into the, uh, main area. Well, I want to call it the main area. Back into the Acorn Trail. I just kind of wish they were a little faster to cross the rainbow, because seriously, that takes forever. And we got another minigame here. So, what's going on? What? What happened? Oh, he, uh, blocked his carp. That kind of sounds vulgar, but oh well. Um, well, for this one, you need Dexter. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's not actually wearing glasses, they're just markings. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, this is just another uh, game like where you had uh, Maxwell looking for cows. Just basically look for the fish in question. And there it is. Alright. And this is the last one. I see it right there. Uh, get over here. There. See? Not much time wasted at all. It's, it's not that hard. It's not hard at all. Just take a quick, a pretty good look at which fish you're looking for, and then uh, just lock on it. There really is not enough diversity to really uh, get them confused that much easily. And, you know, maybe I should come up... Uh, yeah, let's just uh, talk to this guy over here first. Um, huh. His pet went missing. Oh, that's odd. Well, before we actually go to the left, let's go the other way, if I can find my way around. Because, uh, you know, there's another path that can be taken, so, you know, let's take it. And as much as I want to chase that bird around all day, I can't. And he's still pretty depressed. Uh, no, I didn't mean to uh, walk right into the minigame yet, but let's talk to this guy. What's up? Huh. Well, there's your hint. For this, uh, game, Lilypad Crossing, you have to, uh, have, uh... Oh, who is it? Penelope. There you go. So, uh, yeah, let's start. So, this is the one game from four. Uh, ah, yeah, you gotta be a little careful when you're stepping out onto the lily pads, because, um... The controls have a, I would say, a capability of sticking, but if you're not careful, you could easily uh, lie off the lily pad into the water. So, like, when you're wanting to move, just tap the button. Do not hold it down. Otherwise, you really are, you are going to fly off into the water. And that's not good. So, this is kind of a really slow minigame. I don't like how slow it goes. It's actually very boring. This is going so slow, I would rather watch paint dry. I don't want to do it, but fast forward. Small burst of fast forward. Small burst of fast forward. Just to make this a little faster. 
Alright. Alright, come on, go faster. Get back over here. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta wait for these two lily pads to line up. Not close enough. That would not work. And it's gonna float away again. Crap. Come on, I don't want to use the fast forward button any more than I really need to. There we go. And just get over to the other side and voila, we made it. So, I know what you're thinking, why didn't we take the pipe? Well, the pipe's covered on this end, so you have to finish the minigame in order to uncover the pipe. So now we can just, uh, if we need to, we'll just use the pipe. Voila. Yeah, so now we have a quick way across this pond if we need to. Cross it again. So let's go over here and talk to this guy. What a rowdy crab. Hmm. Alright, well let's talk to this guy. Okay, let's scare him off. Okay, so what do we do? We just made a strange eight-man pyramid and something else? I don't know. Alright, so what's going on? Alright, so you can draw pictures like our friend at the flower ranch. Huh, the sticker hermit? Yeah, I think I remember seeing him at Clover Elementary. Huh, well, we're gonna have to try to figure out where he went. Because, in case you didn't realize, he's no longer at the uh, Clover Elementary. So, let's see what this guy has to say. Um, he has to clean, but he's depressed. Floor is full of holes. Huh. Alright, well, let's clean a little while we're at it. Come on, Audi, you can do it! Alright. Okay, so... Let's just clean over here, too. Because really, I do need the level 1 stickers. Like acorns. There you go. Uh, I really hope this... I'm not gonna fit this in one video, I can tell already. Alright, well, let's at least do this minigame then. And then I can make a return soon. Basically, what I want to do here is... With Panda, I want to... Oh, well, I didn't show the controls, but basically... You press the A button in order to repair a hole in the floor here. And basically you have to repair, um, oh what is it, 25 holes, and you get 2 points per hole. Avoid the crabs. Now, what kind of makes this game, well I wouldn't say a headache, but a little unfair maybe, is that you might notice that all the panels flip over, not including the one I'm sitting on. So let's say, for instance, um, the panel flips over, I'm sitting on, and a crab is on it. You can kind of see where that could turn into a problem, because I'll be given a default game over, and there really is nothing I can do about it. But, you know, I think the game is nice enough to not do that. I, I think the, the middle panel here is safe. I cannot confirm that for sure, but, well, to me, it feels like it's safe. Alright, make any sense? Great. Alright, so there we go with the uh, Inspector Ham sticker. And so we fix the guys up floor. Honestly, I think that will do it for now, so next time we will explore the other half of Acorn Trail, and hopefully I'll get to show off some other areas as well. I'll get to show off the remainder of this area as well. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.